Okay, in this video we are going to be looking at the vessels of uh, several models, um, including our thoracic model, which we have here. And let's start with um, the one that you should be the most familiar with, which is the aorta. The aorta begins here. This would be the ascending aorta. Where it arches here, this would be the aortic arch, and then this would be the descending aorta. The portion of the descending aorta that goes through the thoracic cavity is called the thoracic aorta. The aorta has three branches that come off superiorly. The first branch is the brachiocephalic trunk, otherwise known as the brachiocephalic artery. The second one here would be the left common carotid artery. And the third one would be the left subclavian artery. This first branch, the brachiocephalic trunk, will branch off to create and um, this is this is going to be the right common carotid artery. And remember, this is the left common carotid artery. <clears throat> and there's another branch that comes off of this brachiocephalic trunk that you can't see that's uh, basically hiding underneath all of this here but on a diagram you should know it and you'll need to know it on the heart model. And that's going to be your right subclavian artery. Common carotid arteries are going to start here. The other one starts here. And they're gonna to continue to go up and around this area, they are going to, and around this area, they're going to branch off to form an internal and external carotid arteries. Another pathway here. <clears throat> so here we've got the subclavian, the subclavian artery, and that is going to continue to go around in this direction. It's gonna go under the clavicle And let me just identify some of these veins that we have going on as well. Um, this here would be where the superior vena cava is, the superior vena cava, which goes to the heart. And this would be the right and left brachiocephalic veins. Now, once we get a little bit further, the brachiocephalic veins, once they get around here, around the clavicle region, they're going to become subclavian, sorry, the subclavian veins. The subclavian veins further up. Okay. Um, you also have, this would be the internal jugular vein and the external jugular vein. The ones on the other side you can't see. There's also a pathway that you can't really see um, that branches off of the subclavian artery here. The right and left vertebral arteries travel superiorly through the vertebral column and combine at the base of the brain to form the basilar artery. The basilar artery connects to the arterial cerebral circle, otherwise known as the circle of Willis. The function of the circle of Willis is to give oxygenated blood to the brain. Okay. Um, let's take a look at these arm veins that we have here. The arm vein that we have in this area, this is the basilic vein. And on the other side, This large vein here 
is going to be the cephalic vein.